Hello, 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 Phil. How are you today? Good to see you one more time. Here we go with the cooking vocabulary. Uh, today's video, basically, we're going to understand the meaning of the vocabulary by uh, watching different pictures. So here we go. Let's get started. Cooking vocabulary. Number one, boil. So boil is basically this one right here, okay? That you can see the water boiling, okay? Something like this, okay? Boil. So next one, we have broil. Broil is, okay, referring to this picture right here, okay? That you can see the heating, okay? The, the different, okay, pipes, okay? That are into an oven. So that is, okay, basically broiling something, okay? That gets, okay, a little bit toasted and golden uh, under and over the food. That is broil. Stew, a stew is basically referring to this, okay, picture right here. All right, so let me see. Yeah, that is a stew, I guess, okay? Yeah, this can be, no, this is more like a steam. This is more like steam, this one right here, steam. All right, al vapor, okay? That's what it means, steam. Stew is basically, uh, in Spanish is, okay, stofar, okay? Or tener un caldito. That's what it means, okay, stew. All right, then grill, okay, grill is basically uh, when you actually, uh, you have a griller and you are grilling something, okay, similar to this picture right here. So that is basically grill, but at the same time, okay, if you're using some coal, okay, which is, okay, material right here that you ignite, okay, with some fire, okay, and then it starts, okay, getting uh, hotter and hotter, all right, so that's basically, okay, like roast or roasting something. In this case, you can see the different skewers. All right? Skewers is this uh, metal object, all right? This metal object with this pick, and then you, in this uh, case, stick, you can put, okay, basically the meat, or you can put also vegetable or combination, okay, vegetables and also meat. Those are called skewers, all right? So that you roast, okay, the meat or vegetables. Get a pan, okay, get a pan, okay, basically we're gonna go to the other, okay, uh, slide, understanding the vocabulary, boom, is this one. Here, get a pan, okay, get a pan is this one right here, okay, casserole, okay, similar pronunciation to the Spanish, casserole pan, you can call it like that. This is, okay, a uh, much better, okay, pan or casserole where you can cook different, okay, food, and it's really cool. Next one, get a pad. Pad is the other one that we use, okay, which is this one right here that we can cook rice, we can also cook some soups, all right, and other type of food, all right? So this is basically the object, okay, the pad. This is the pan, a pan, and this is the pad. Next one, butter the pan. Butter the pan is actually, okay, the action of buttering, okay, buttering, Okay, like you see this picture right here, butter in the casserole, okay, butter in the, the pan. So you basically uh, grease, I mean, put some butter, okay, all around the casserole or the pan, all right, so the food cannot get, uh, cannot stick, all right, in, inside, okay, so that's why we use butter, oil, or let's see, uh, some type of uh, different uh, greasy, okay, uh, ingredients, okay. Uh, so the food cannot cannot stick, okay, into the sides or at the bottom of the different uh, pads and also pans. Next one, put it in the filter. Uh, this is a filter, okay. So filter is basically okay where uh, you put something in it, okay. It just okay goes between. All right, so. Uh, also, the other name for filters, okay, they are called strainers, all right? They are called strainers uh, because, okay, the, the little holes, okay, are a little bit tiny and there are some filters that the holes are a little bit bigger. So all depends, okay, the type of filter that you're using for cooking, all right? Can be bigger than this one that you can see in the, of the picture. And remember, the other name that we can say for a filter is strainer. Next one, uh, put it in a filter, okay, so uh, you're cooking only one thing. All right, put it in a filter, okay, is the plural, if you are cooking, okay, many, okay, uh, objects or many, uh, like, for example, vegetables. All right, so you, that's why, okay, is 
in singular, put in a filter, and put in a filter, which is the plural. All right, add chicken seasoning, meat seasoning, rice seasoning, okay, into the different food that you're cooking in the moment. So here we have a picture. Uh, and basically, this seasoning has two different, okay, ingredients, okay, or powders, chicken and rice seasoning, all right? So it has two. So the same is for the meat, okay, when you go to the supermarket or to the mini market, all right, to buy this, okay, seasoning. So this is, okay, a picture for the seasonings. Next one, uh, pinch, okay, when you are cooking, uh, sometimes, okay, with your fingers, you get a pinch, okay, and then you say bang, okay, so you put bang, you put a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper, or a pinch of sugar, so all depends. Then, okay, when, when you're cooking, uh, all depends, okay, so if the food that you're cooking, okay, has to be into the oven, so you put it in the oven, all right, if you don't, if uh, the food that you're cooking uh, doesn't need to be put into the oven, so you put it on the stove, all right? So that depends, okay, what you're cooking. Let's continue with the next slide, this one right here. So then we have, okay, uh, pepper, salt, sugar, and also flour, okay? Different, okay, shakers, okay, with different uh, ingredients, okay? In this case, pepper, all right, salt, all right, sugar, and also flour. So all depends, okay, uh, you're gonna use them, Okay, depending what you're cooking. Uh, put it in the oven. So here we have a guy that is actually putting something in the oven. Okay, so this hole right here from the stove, all this object is called stove. All right, this little hole right here, okay, is the oven. And these ones right here are the controls, okay, for the stove. And basically right here, okay, one, two, three, four, okay, if you can see from the picture, those are the burners. All right, so then we continue with the vocabulary right here on the right column. It says, let it dry, okay? So if you are cooking pasta, you let it dry, okay, into a filter. If you're cooking, okay, other like uh, fish, so you leave them dry, okay? So you peel the fish and then you leave them dry, okay, for a moment. Then uh, when you're cooking, okay, it's your food. So depending, okay, on the depending, okay, the type of food that you are doing in that moment. So you leave it for 10 minutes, that's an example, or you leave them, okay, for 25 minutes. The difference right here, leave it, okay, is for the singular and leaving is for the plural form. That depends the minutes, okay, you're gonna give them, okay, for the cooking. Uh, remember, okay, so not to get the food to stick to the pan or to the pot, we aggregate some oil, which is this picture right here. Aggregating some oil to the pan. Put them in the put it in the pan, okay. Put it in the pan, uh, put it in the pan, and put them in the pan is basically this, okay. So that you are actually putting, okay, all the ingredients into the pan, and at the same time, okay, that you are putting, okay, the different uh, uh, ingredients into the pan. You need to stir the ingredients, okay. Actually, in this, okay, this one, okay, stirring the different ingredients, okay, with a wooden spatula in this case, okay? Wooden spatula, we have plastic, plastic spatula or even rubber spatulas. So that depends, okay, which one you're gonna use. Next one, uh, peel, okay, peel, okay? Peel the bananas, peel the potatoes, okay? Peel uh, other kinds of food, okay? So basically I explain, okay, what is, okay, these different, okay? Uh, the meaning of these different words, okay? In my previous video, okay, for the pronunciation. Next one. So remember, take it out of the oven and take him out of the oven. That depends. So remember, this is the oven, all right? So in this case, okay, uh, if you have only one pyrex, is take it out of the oven. All right? If you have two pyrex, okay, for cooking lasagna, you say take him out of the oven, okay? That depends uh, how big is your oven. So that's the way that you're going to talk, okay? Singular or plural form. Next one. When everything is ready, okay, that you have finished, okay, cooking, so you say, oh, let's serve it on a plate. All right, we're gonna go to the next slide. So when everything is ready, you save it on a plate, you serve it on a plate, okay? So right here, the food is served on a plate, all right? Ready to be eaten or they are ready to be eaten. And depending on the, uh, the method of cooking, so you cook it high simmer, which is actually, okay, looking at the uh, flame right here, okay? So you see that it's, high simmer, okay? So so all the cooking goes, okay, really, really fast. But there is the other method, okay? Cooking 
simmer. Simmer is okay when you're watching these cooking channels. All right, so everything goes in a slow motion, talking, explaining, describing. All right, so you see that the different, okay, hosts in that moment, okay, they are cooking simmer, okay? Not like this one right here. This is cooking high simmer, and this is cooking, okay, simmer slowly, okay, like that. So guys, so that's basically the way that we practice this vocabulary, okay? By looking at different pictures, okay? Understanding the meaning of all this vocabulary, this vocabulary that we've been through. So guys, excellent job. So this is the way that we finish, okay, this video, okay? Explaining, understanding the meaning of these different vocabulary and phrases. So guys, thanks for being here with me. If you have comments, okay, write them below, okay? Give me a like. All right, see you later, catch you later. Learning English with me, very easy, very simple. Bye-bye.